This is Can the Honorable Prime Minister tell the nation whether or not it is true that the government borrowed a whopping $300 million on the regional government securities market in 2019? Mr. Speaker, I heard that the leader of the UPP put in misinformation in the public domain to that effect. That is totally untrue. In fact, most of the securities that exist on the regional market were incurred by the UPP, but they have been rolled over by my administration. This is Mr. Speaker, can the Honorable Prime Minister tell the nation whether or not it is true that $2 million was taken from the CIP fund to build a new cemetery in Antigua? Speaker, I have no knowledge, and I'm the finance minister, that we have ever allocated or appropriated $2 million for the construction of a new cemetery. And if the member for Barbuda would be so inclined, I will ask the member for St. Mary's North to elaborate. No, I, he, I don't know if we could do it under the rules, but I wouldn't have a problem with it. So, all right. So, okay, fine. Fine. You can always prepare it in writing. Fine. That is fine. That is fine. But, Mr. Speaker, can the Honorable Prime Minister, as Minister of Finance, tell this Honorable House and Nation? whether or not any monies were taken from the CIP fund to build a new cemetery in Antigua and Barbuda. In, in Antigua, sorry. Mr. Speaker, I'm aware that there were some preliminary costs, and it is this likely is that Antigua a small Nation. amount may have been utilized, but nothing close to $2 million. And I'm going to ask the member for Barbuda to put that question specifically to the member for St. Mary's North, who is responsible for that subject area. Mr. Speaker, can the Honorable Prime Minister tell the nation why has the government refused to publish the accounts of the National Development Fund since 2017? Mr. Speaker, as we are all aware, from time to time, auditors fail to complete these accounts on a timely basis. What I'll say to the member for Barbuda is that we will redouble our efforts to get the auditors to complete um, the audit of the CIP um, program. But we come here at least twice annually and would have provided full details of all of the spending of the CIP program. I believe we may be out of date by at least six months, so I'll ask the Honorable Attorney General to ensure that at the next, at the next sitting of Parliament that we present the next report. So, Already, Mr. Speaker, there is a full accounting of every cent incurred is or spent Nigeria. from the CIP um, account and even the NDF proceeds as well. We would have accounted for how those um, funds would have been dispensed with. Mr. Speaker, can the Honorable Prime Minister tell this Honorable House if any steps have been taken to address the practices of, a me of the member for St. Peter that he called corrupt. Mr. Speaker, we all know that there is an allegation against a member for St. Peter that he solicited a bribe from a UK, UK businessman. That matter is currently being pursued by the United Kingdom National Crime Agency in collaboration with local authorities. <laughs> 